Hello, hello. Are we there? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Oops, am I upside down? Let me see if I can somehow manage to swing this around. Hold on. Um, can you see me in the right orientation if anybody is there? It's looking slightly different on my screen. Okay, just, where are we? So I'm just waiting for a couple more people to come on. I'm a little bit early. I've just received a box of really cool goodies from All and Create in the UK. So, oh my gosh, how cool is that? I've been a little bit sidetracked looking at this new stuff that has just come in. These will be, oh wow, how cool is that stamp? These will be uploaded onto the computer within the next hour or so. That's a stencil, there's all sorts of, sorry, I've been totally sidetracked. The delivery man has just knocked on my door, so that will be for later. Okay, I thought what I would do today, I'm just going to make a start. Nobody needs to hear me ramble on at all. Um, I won't wait for anybody else to come. People will pop in if they want to pop in, otherwise they'll end up being here forever. But I thought what I would do today is just show you how I scrapbook with one of my handmade creations. So this is the um, embellishment that I'm going to use. Um, just for those that are there, can you see and hear okay? Can you perhaps just let me know if you can... Um, if everything's working because you know that I'm real technologically, technologically challenged. I struggle to speak English. But you can see all right and hear okay. Oh awesome. Hey Maz, how are you darling? Awesome. So I really don't have a lot of um, anything in my head at the minute. All I know is that this is, hello June, how you doing? Um, all I know is that this is the embellishment that I'm going to use um, and I have a couple of photos. I don't really even know yet if I'm going to use both photos or um, just one photo. So I've got my photos, my embellishment, I've picked out my base page as well and then I have um, a few other little bits and pieces. I've got some scrap papers that I've got had left over from this paper collection. Half a doily, of course, because I don't do anything about a doily. Um, what else have we got? I've picked out just a few other little bits of chipboard pieces that have been laying around that I may add to. I don't know yet. And I also have a couple of titles. So um, I don't really even know whether I'll be using those or not. Oh, and a stencil. I thought this bit here might work or the writing might work. So... First thing I generally do is I let my embellishment kind of dictate to where my page is going to start. So for this one, I wouldn't put it right across the middle of my page because straight away it's chopping my page in half. So from a design aspect for me that doesn't work. So you could either work it towards the bottom more or you could work it towards the top more. And my first place I'm looking at is more towards the top here. And now I'm looking for where I could place my first photo at least. So I could pop my first photo here. I will need to bring that down just a little bit. This one here. It's not... Oh, I could even go over the top. I could actually over the top like that. Or I could actually nestle it under here as well. If I was going to use the two photos, I'm not generally much of a two photo person. I always just like to scrap with one photo. Um, so that being said, I'm going to stick with the one to start off with because I know that I want to put this one here and I still have plenty of space to add the other photo if I decide to add the other one. 
So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, back my photo with some of these papers, that, scrap papers that I've got left over. My photo, I've just, it's a 3x4 photo, that's generally what I scrap with all the time is 3x4 and I've just put um, white matting and black matting around it. For me, I find because I generally tend to have quite a bit going on around my photo, it, that just helps make my photo pop off the page a little bit more rather than get lost in amongst all the other stuffs on the page. So I'm going to add a little bit of ink just around these pages. Because these papers have a little bit of a, a vintage vibe, I'm going to just put a little bit of brown ink around the edges. I don't like to put a lot, I just want to give the pages definition so you can then see where one page finishes and the other piece of paper starts. So as you can see they are just they're just scrap bits of paper just left over. So I've die cut from this one, no one's going to see the, the guts of it, so let's just put it in with a little paper cluster. Some of them aren't even cut straight, doesn't matter. All it's doing is adding um, interest to your page and adding lots of layers. So this is the, um, what paper is this? It's Maha, Maha Maja Designs and it's the Miles Apart Collection. So you can see I'm not completely covering those edges with the ink, you just want to highlight them a little bit. Um, and I like to use a dauber as well, I find a dauber just makes it a little bit softer, not quite as harsh. Don't always ink the edges, but I just think that this paper kind of lends itself to that kind of vintage vibe. Not that the photo is anything but vintage. Okay. So that's my papers done. Right. Just going to get rid of those little bits of the door bar. As you can see, it's a bit well used. Otherwise, we're going to get brown on that. Okay. Back again. So I think I'm going to stick with this photo here, or, or maybe that one with the creepy stalker in the back. This one. What do you reckon? Maybe this one, I think. Right, let's try this one. So now I'm just going to layer up my paper layers. Hi Robin, how are you? Glad that you could make it. Okay, so when I do this there is just, there's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just want to see little edges of the paper um, where I can. It doesn't need to be perfect, like I said it's just adding um, layers, that's all it's doing. Pull this one up, maybe just a fraction. That's it. I stick this one. Let's stick this one in here. Right. I kind of like the way that looks. So all I'm going to do now is remove my photo, hold it together, try and give it a little bit of a straighten up if you're a little bit fastidious with straight lines and I'm just going to put a staple through it. Might actually even put two in. There we go. Okay, so there's my paper cluster. My photo is going to sit over the top. I'm also going to tuck a doily in because those of you that don't know me, I am a doily freak absolute dolly freak. This isn't cut very straight. That's all good. 
um, here maybe I think because then that will offset this corner here so I'm going to have this sit about here I'm not generally one to stick anything on straight away I'll just work around it until I'm happy with it so I'm thinking now that I've got my photo placed there I may actually just pencil a little bit of a mark here just to give me an idea just to give me an idea where that's going to start so I'm thinking now I need something else around here possibly so this is where I was thinking of using the stencil I'm thinking that we could have some this side maybe the words do I want the words or do I want the I think I'm going to go with these maybe so I think what I might do is I'm going to stick this under here this by leaving it all on and sticking my stencil under this gives me a good idea of where to um, start my stenciling Whereas if I took it all off and then had a bit of a guess as to where I was going to place it, you might find that your stenciling ends up too low and um, it looks a little bit drawn out on your page. So I want to keep everything nice and tight. That's generally the way that I scrap. You'll find that everything that happens around my photo with the embellishments and everything else is all nice and tight and kept together. And in that way, it's not fighting for attention. It all works as one rather than all these individual pieces screaming for attention. Does that make sense? Right, so I'm going to have my stencil right there. I might even just put a little bit of washi on it just to hold it in place. And now I can move this. I'm going to use the Card Deco ink. Now this is a pigment ink, so this works lovely for blending through your stencils, but because it is wetter than a dye-based ink, I tend to find that you need to just be a little bit more light-handed with it because otherwise it's wet you don't get that really crisp image around the edge of the stencil so I'm just going to grab a blending brush so I'm just using one of these um, little blender brushes I just clean them off on a microfiber towel, just give it a good scrub off just to get your excess colour off. Or if you have one for each colour, that's perfect. Let's see. Beautiful. So I'm just going to load up my brush. That's a bit wonky. I might just put another piece of tape in that corner. and then in circular motion you're just going to add your colour through the stencil so if I wanted to with this um, ink because it stays it's pigment ink and it stays wet for a little bit longer I could actually throw over some embossing powder as well once I took the stencil off and heat set that and these little inks as well these are all the colors that I use to cover my chipboard so I find they tend to sit on top of the chipboard rather than soak into the chipboard so I quite enjoy using those to colour my chipboard pieces. Okay, so this doesn't have to be perfect. looking I 
There we go. So I'm going to pop this back over the top just to give a bit of an idea. Yep, so I think I could actually even add a little bit more here, I think. I'm going to... Mm, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go that way. So I'm going to take all that off, drop this here. I'm just going to use what's left on my um, brush at the moment. And I don't want to come too far down either. Just want to try and keep it coming from out of the photo. A bit more maybe. How's that? That looks pretty good. Kind of happy with that. What do you reckon we could even go a little bit more maybe? Let's just line this up about here. Beautiful. I reckon that's probably all the stenciling that we need. So always can come back. Rather than go heavy at the start, you can always come back and add to it. So I'm thinking that I'm kind of happy with how that's starting to look. Okay. So now I don't know whether I bring this extra photo in. I feel like it needs something else down here. There's a lot happening up the top. By doing that, I'm going to cover up that bit of stenciling. And I really do like just the one photo. Hmm. I'm going to stick with one photo, I think. What do you reckon? One photo? I think so. So, what else did I pull from? My... So I had a couple of these laying around. We could add some of the script. Let's have a look, see if this will work. I'm just going to slide that up a little bit. So with your chipboard as well, when you get your chipboard, you're going to see there's usually about two or three little notches that are holding it together. So if you cut that little, that little notch, work your way around and find where the next one is. Not right down here, I can see it. I haven't got my glasses on. There we go. And once you've cut those notches, it should just chip out. It's just, sorry, it should just slip out. So I don't know if I'm going to use this, but maybe we can pop this in somewhere. I'm going to cut it as well. So I'm going to cut about there. We shouldn't use those scissors. They have better scissors. Let's use these spongy ones. I cut there and maybe about mm, about here maybe yeah and maybe we just follow that line through there okay so we could stick this under here maybe what do you reckon? And this bit could then go on this side, we could stretch it. Or, I could even pop this one under here, that may work. I think I like this one under here. Right, 
what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stick this photo onto the um, paper cluster. I'm also going to stick this doily in. Well, use up on the glue. So again, when you're sticking your doily in, you want to tuck it right under. You don't want it competing for attention. You just want to see a little bit of it. Because when everything's poking out so much, it's all saying, look at me, look at me, and then it starts to look like a hot mess. So I like to keep it all really tight, and then it just looks like one big cluster, one big thing that you're looking at. Okay. Um, I think I've just run out of that. Oh, no, we'll use this. This will be fine. Okay. Oh, it's pretty warm today. Or is it just humid? Feels a bit yuck. So I'm just going to put some glue on that because that had lost its tack from the end of the roll. And let me see. Okay. So also, because we haven't stuck around all the edges, we have heaps of room to come back and tuck other bits and pieces under. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could come back and start tucking in the chipboard pieces underneath here. So that's another reason why I like to use a staple just in the middle, because then it allows me to be able to come back and add, continue to add to my um, photo, paper, photo cluster. So I have my mark here where I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to just use a little bit of glue. And again, I'm going to just stick to the middle. You can see I haven't used a lot there. Because if I want to come back again, I can. Oops, sorry. Just going to make sure that's relatively straight. Not now, it's not. Need a clean, clean towel. This is a time where guaranteed every time I stick my photo on, I end up with a mark on my photo. Okay, cool, cool. Now I'm just gonna lay this here because I'm thinking that is going to need to be up on a little bit of tape maybe, and this is starting to push up his nose. We need to move this down a bit. Okay, yep. So I had this. This piece has been hanging around for a while. It's part of a two-piece set. Um, and I'm trying to... I was... Mm, I don't know. Now this is starting to annoy me a little bit because it's starting to hang a little low. Is this stuck? Yeah, not quite. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Just a fraction. I kind of felt like this piece here was sitting in the middle and it was starting to chop my page right in the middle. That's better. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So can you see the difference? If this was sitting just that little bit lower where the photo was before, how it just kind of chops your page in half, this, in my opinion anyway, um, I think that just looks a little bit better, a little bit more pleasing. So I also had this piece here as well, and I thought by doing it like this, this was also giving something for this piece here to sit on top of. But that's starting to look a little bit over the top for me, unless we can... We could chop this, couldn't we? Or... What else have we got? Let's chop it. Because it's only been sitting around doing nothing, so I'm just going to chop it. Because 
one up, hey? Okay, what do you reckon? We've still got these pieces here. We may not even need that. Maybe I'm starting to overkill it. We'll go this way. Because I'm pretty good at scrapping a photo within an inch of its life. Oh, I don't mind that. So I've still got this other piece now, so I can use that for something else because I don't think I need anything on, no, I don't need nothing else on that side going over the top. Um, maybe that's too high up. Let's just cut some more of this. All these little pieces I'll keep because you can always just tuck them all under. Yep, that's not too bad I reckon. So let's colour some of this chipboard. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to colour this with some of my inks. To keep it similar, I'm going to actually just use the same ink that I used to do the stenciling in, I think, just to keep things looking same, same, matchy, matchy. And you can see how these inks, just bring it up to camera a bit. You can see how those inks just cover the chipboard really well. They just sit on top of the chipboard. They don't soak in. They just look really good. And again, you can heat emboss these as well. You could throw some. Let's do that, hey? What do you reckon? Let's heat emboss this one. So let me get the ink on it. And then I'm going to throw some clear embossing powder over the top. These ones also have a pearl base to them as well. I need not white, I need clear. So this is just clear embossing powder. Oops, just let me flip that over. My air conditioning's blowing it everywhere. Could it go everywhere? Oh, good. Get rid of that. Okay, and I'm just going to put the heat gun on, so apologies if it's a little noisy. There. Love watching embossing powder melt. I think there still. I think they might be done. Okay. Yep. So you get the same colour. You just get it in a nice shiny. Oh no, I've got a little bit right there. I can see. Two seconds. 
Ja, that's better. Okay, there we go. So you just get that nice shiny look of heat embossing. So they are the Card Deco uh, inks. Okay, right, where are we at? Yeah, that's going to work good because that means that this now has something to sit on and I won't need to pack it with anything underneath. So I think what I might do is... Where are we? About there, maybe. Just going to put a pencil mark so I know right there where I'm going to start with my chipboard piece. I'm just using a little bit of glue. Again, I might just pop that there to give me a bit of a guideline. Before I stick him I straight. Wow, that's not bad. There you go. Yep. Okay. Take these off, still not 100% sold on those yet, but we're going to stick this here and I want that so that it's not too far over his face, I think that's still okay. Mm. That's starting to get a little bit, a little bit high. Okay, so so because we have a little bit of height here and there's nothing underneath this, this is starting to dip. So what I'm going to do, just here I'm going to take some scrap chipboard. This was just left over from the script piece. Yeah, no Maz, not at the minute. I'm trying to find out where I can get it from. Apparently it's a, um, a seasonal thing. Um, they can't, it comes from the US and they can't ship it in the middle of winter because of the, it's so cold, it obviously it does something to the um, properties in the glue. So um, I am looking into it though. It's, I, it's my favourite glue, I quite like this one. And I'll let you know. So we're going to stick this just here. That's then going to raise this piece here so that it's all in line and no one is going to see underneath it. Right, let's glue that bit there down. It is an expensive glue, like I think it's about $12 a bottle. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a favourite. Okay, now I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue along the back. Here. Okay. Whoops, oh, I'm all over the shop. So I want to line that up so that it is in the middle here. Actually, I, know I might even push it off a little bit. That's better, I think. There we go. So these little handmade flowers, these are done with the handmade paper. Uh, they just need a bit of a fluff up. Once they've been um, in packages and stuff, they, do they just lay down basically but they just need a bit of a fluffer okay so we've got that happening um, back to these I'm still trying to decide whether I need these or not I think this side wasn't it I do kind of like them this here is, needs a bit of glue, glue underneath 
I think I'm going to use them and I think for this I'm going to just put some straight up um, black ink over them I think so the black will then bring out this black too So I'm not going to completely cover it. I want to be able to see some of the chipboard through it as well. And by doing it like that too, that also creates a little bit more um, definition rather than have it completely covered black. So I'm just dragging the ink pad over the top of it. What else have we got? These little bits maybe. Oops. How are we going? You still with me? Yeah. I've been rabbiting on for too long. How long have I been going for? 35 minutes. Oh, had enough of me by now. Okay, so we're going to stick that there. I could even. Oh, I'll just leave it there. I was going to move it down a little bit, but I won't. I'm just going to leave it. And then I think maybe, do we need some on this side? What do you reckon? I don't actually think we probably even need any. But oh, we could, I suppose. What do you reckon? Maybe it needs to be up here. So this is actually the part that I actually enjoy, is just the um, fiddling about. I know I'm probably driving everybody else crazy. I think I'm going to move it to the bottom. Tuck it right under. Oops, if I can. It's catching on something there. There we go. Okay, what's happening there? Oops. Okay, how's that? I'm going to add that bit because I don't like how this is so square. bit of glue will dry clear too. Okay, so I think we're getting there. I think for me, um, we are close to finished, I think. Um, I think, I don't know if that's enough as a title. I have these here and I, uh, I, can't, I like these because you don't actually have to use the whole title. Like I could get two titles out of this I could use the precious out of this one and keep the moments in time for something else because I could put precious here and I've already got moments here or again this is another one that I could actually probably use twice as well so I've got the memories here and the treasured so I could use treasured as well treasured moments I'm going to just let's pop it out and let's have a little look Okay, so there's one little notch. 
So if you give it a little push, you'll then find out where the next, there it is right there, where the next little piece is to cut. And that looks like we might be done. Yep. So, what do you think? Have to sit about here. Gets a little bit lost, doesn't it? Maybe we just need to leave it as moments. The treasured is also quite a, a flourishy kind of word, so that's probably going to get lost too. I'm going to ink it up and see how we go. I'm going to just cover it in black ink. And this time I'm going to completely cover it just so it does pop a little bit more. Oh, thank you, June. It's um, a little bit tricky doing live because I don't always have an idea in my head um, where it's going and to try and keep it in some kind of time frame as well. But I, I like having these um, embellishments already made because it kind of helps me out like where to start. Okay, so let's see how this goes, if this is going to pop a little bit or not. Well, it's not really popping, is it? There's too much detail going on under here. Yeah. Oh. And by putting it here, yeah, by putting it here, it's too far away from this. So I think I'm going to just stick with that for the time being. I think, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with that. But what I'm going to do first is. Um, what about these? So we've been sidetracked again. I might just try any one of these. Maybe. Let's see. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it's only got one flower on and that's um that's not me. Normally it's like a flower shop in bloom. But that's okay. Sometimes Less is more, right? Okay. I was going to think about having this under here. I'll need to cut a little bit off, maybe. No, that's that's overtaking everything. Okay, no, let's not do that. And I also had these little vellum flowers I thought that I may be able to use. Just down here, maybe. Nope, I'm going over the top again. Step away from it. Move back. Step away from the pretties. Um, um I am going to put my black splodges on because I do like some black splodges. Oops, here's one here. Um So I think we might do one here. Yep. Yeah. I think, because generally I'll work in threes. Oops, that's about to come off. Let's fix that up. That should move. Um, one, two maybe. One, two, am I going to fit more? Oh, maybe in here. It's too close, I don't want it over there. One. Maybe um, here or let's try here. Two. Two. Three. Here, maybe. So again, even with my stamping, I try and keep it nice and close and tight in with the main design. So when you look at it, maybe I should turn it up the right way, oops, let me see if that's going to come off, otherwise it's not too bad.
it's lightened it anyway. That's the main thing. So when you look at it, it's um, just one big um, thing to look at, one big cluster, and that's that's what I like. That's my generally my kind of style. Um, one more thing, I think maybe some um, pearls, pearl drops maybe. And what's this one? This is white. Yeah, let's try these. Um, where are we going to go? Again, I generally tend to stick in threes and I will stick tight to the one, to the design, two, three. These are just Nouveau drops. Um, we could go down here maybe. One, two, three, yeah. And then kind of with your visual triangle is what I aim for. One, oops, two, three. Okay. I think, I think that might be it. I really wanted to get that title on there. I don't, oh, unless I just, I don't know. I'll have to have a bit of a think about it. I could cover over that creepy stalker, my mum. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't, yeah, that's not going to work for me, I don't think. I'll have a think about it. But I think we might be done. I may, mm, let me think, I may take a little bit off of this, off the edges, and ink it and put it onto a, another piece of paper. Oh, I know what I might do. How are we going for time? We're at 46 minutes. Um, where's the rest of these papers? I was thinking here we could rip into this, take this chunk out and pop a piece of paper behind it. What do you reckon? Sound like a good idea? Or maybe I should just leave it. Let me just see what I've got. Just having a fossic through just to see what I have in my leftovers. So my thinking was that maybe I could just take some chunks out around the corner here on the edges and then you would have a different piece of pattern paper peeking through maybe. What do you reckon? I'll have to have a think. I'm going to leave it at that anyway for the time being because um, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Thanks for popping in, um, playing. I just really wanted to yeah, let you see how I create. I know sometimes you see stuff online and you think, oh, wow, yeah, okay. Um, it really is as easy as that. Just let the handmade embellishment, let that do your work for you, which is basically what I did. I've just popped that on my page and then I've worked around that. So, yeah, oh, you're welcome, Maz, anytime. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will finish this off if I think I've got to add anything else to it and I'll take a photo and I'll pop it up online as well. So, yeah, thanks for playing and I'll talk to you soon, ladies. Take care. Bye.